Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is a follow-up to one of the videos I had posted uh, about a week ago. It got a lot of views and along with that a lot of comments, a lot of questions, so I will be addressing everything in this video. So one of the biggest comments I got was if you could take me along the progression of your hairstyle throughout the next couple of days. Um, I think I talked about in the last video how the style really holds, how using these techniques, I've gotten my hair to hold a style for about three to four days. So this is day four. Um, I know we're kind of starting it off towards the end. <laughs> Tomorrow is wash day. I've never been one of those girls that can go seven to 10 days without washing. If you are, good for you. I've tried, it's just doesn't work out for me. So tomorrow's wash day and I'm gonna wash my hair, style it like I normally would. I'll go over like real quick some of the tips and tricks I use to get my Dyson uh, hairstyle to stay, you know, uh, nice and tight throughout the day. And then I'm gonna take you every night, I'm gonna do a little check-in every morning. I'll do a check-in just to show you guys how the curls fall out over those next several days. Um, and I won't touch them, I won't do anything to them today I did touch up my hair. Usually what happens is I sleep on my hair and in the morning, depending on how wild it's looking, I'll do a refresh. And what that is, is I take this. This is my As I Am Restore and Repair Jamaican Black Castor Oil Water. You can get it right off Amazon. I'll link it below. And I just spray the ends, get them a little damp. I go in with whatever your favorite dry shampoo is, a little bit on the top. And then I go in with a small barrel and I just do larger sections. I have the long Dyson for long hair, um, which I recommend even if your hair is like up to your shoulders because the barrel is longer so you get more heat covering the surface area of your hair. So you're able to do larger sections while getting the same amount of heat to your hair um, as if you were doing smaller sections with a smaller barrel. So I only do like four sections on each side, which literally takes two minutes with the Dyson air wrap. I, I hold it for 10 seconds on each side. So that's 80 seconds. Um, and that's it. And then I walk out the door and I'm ready to go. Whereas on a typical day, if my hair was wet, like fresh out the shower, I would do seven to eight sections on each side. So yeah, I'm gonna try to do my best to answer all the questions. I really appreciate the new subscribers I got from that video um, and hopefully I get a chance to answer all your questions and comments and we will jump right into wash day and I will take you along with me through this Dyson hair journey. All right, so we got out of the shower and I just put in my Defy Damage by Joico Protective Shield to UV against thermal and UV damage. See. Oh, there we go. That's better. Let's see if it focuses. There we go. Um, I just throw that in. Helps with tangles. Helps with some heat protectant. Feel feel good about it. Um, and then I will go in and I will dry to uh, about 90% on my scalp while leaving the ends as wet as possible. I do not dry the ends. I only dry the scalp and by doing that my ends will get dried a little bit anyway and that always tends to give me the perfect amount of dryness to go in and start using my air wrap. I'm embarrassed because I just realized I filmed the beginning of this video and my entire makeup routine video with the camera facing the wrong way so you can like see my phone and the picture quality is probably not as good but in my defense it's eight o'clock in the morning and I've only had one cup of coffee so oops not perfect <laughs> um all right so first comment question I saw is What kind of hairspray do you use? This is the Sexy Hair Big Spray and Play Volumizing Hairspray. Who's it by? I think the brand is literally Sexy Hair. You could see. See? And I apologize, some of you guys said my first video is very fast. I'm a quick talker, 
I'm from New Jersey. If you are from New Jersey, you have to be a quick talker because if not, you never get a word in because people in New Jersey don't shut up. So <laughs> I'm sorry. That's just how it is here on the East Coast. Okay. So I find my part. I like to use this little old school man brush. Go in, get my part. I've been parting down the middle. I used to do the side, but I heard side parts are out. So, you know, I, I'm old now. I just turned 30, but I'm trying to stay with the times as long as I can because they are slipping from me. All right. So I'm going to show you guys what I do with one strand, just like I did in the other video. With my tips and techniques that seem to be working for you all. So a couple of things I do that people tell you not to do, but I do it anyway. Um, I put it on high, the highest heat and the highest airflow. I do not use the cool shot. I do pretty large-ish sections, but again, I have the long Dyson, which I recommend if your hair is like from here down. Um, and then I don't shut it off in between curls. And that gives it like a final twist at the end. And then I spray my hair with a uh, hairspray and I let the curls set long enough. I go like pick out my outfit or get dressed and then I brush them out when they are totally set. Yeah, my, my robe does say Pimp Daddy. Uh, it was a Christmas gift from my husband last year that is really comfortable and I steal it from him all the time. So, <laughs> all right. So let's get started. All right, so I'm gonna put my hair up. Another hair hack, clips are so much more gentle to your hair than hair ties. So I've been starting to use clips over hair ties. Plus, they're cute. You can get cute different ones. I got mine off Amazon and they're like little, little butterflies. I feel like I over dried my hair a little bit. Actually, no, it's not bad. But if you do over dry your hair a little bit, just go in, spritz it with some water and you're good to go. All right, so I'll do the first one with you guys. I always start in the back. And I will show you guys. Go up and down a little bit. And then you twist it. I leave it on for about 10 seconds. The only thing I use the cool shot for is if I want to get real close to my scalp and it starts to burn, then I just turn on the cool shot. I make sure it's all dry, it feels dry. Take it out. Did you see that twist at the end because I didn't shut it off? That is key. All right, I'll do one more with you guys. Two in here on the top. Do a nice little brush. Go up and down so it doesn't get any crease. You roll it up, and there you go. done am I the only crazy person in this world that uses their mouth to hold their hair while they section it I can't be the only one it's so it's so much faster than constantly taking it in and out of a clip but I probably look crazy doing it all right so I just gave it a little hairspray while it's still warm um, and then I use the clips since I have a middle part and I have crazy calyx these just kind of help set set the calyx in the front so it's not so crazy looking. These are clips. You can get them right off Amazon. They are supposed to be like no-show clips so they don't leave a crease. And it's just enough to like keep my baby hairs in the front down. And yeah, so while this is cooling off, I'm going to go get dressed. All right, so the next recommendation I got is to use a wide tooth comb. This is 
the best I got, um, which is really good advice because this helps maintain the curls, whereas the paddle brush will give you like a more smoothing effect. So it just depends on what you're looking for. But now that I am all dressed, ready to go, and the curls have set, and someone was asking if the hairspray was sticky. No, it is not. That is like my pet peeve. I hate sticky hairspray. I'd rather just not use hairspray if it's sticky. Um, and I love that you can like brush through your hair after using the hairspray. It's like amazing. It was actually recommended by a friend. Okay. I wish I knew why the side of my hair curls differently. I don't know if it's my technique or just the way that my hair is, but it always looks a little different, but you know what? It's just like what they say about eyebrows. They're sisters, not twins, right? <laughs> All right, so this is the look. Um, I will check back with you guys tonight. I have an exciting day planned for everyone. I'm filming a Black Friday shopping vlog. So you guys will probably see that be posted before this one because I'm gonna wait four days to post this one so I can give you guys a little progress update. Um, but yeah, this is how it looks. I'll show you guys the back. Okay, very bouncy, lots of movement. Very natural looking, I guess you could say, because it's so bouncy. It looks like I just walked out of the salon, but I got it at home in like five minutes, so. All right, I'll check back with you guys tonight. All right, guys, I'm about to get in the shower and go to bed. This is after day one, and I will check in with you guys in the morning, but as you can see, the curls held so well. So we'll see what this beast looks like in the morning. Hey guys, I'm sorry this footage is so bad. I don't know what my phone was doing, but you can get a glimpse of it at the end and I promise the rest of the video gets better. I literally rolled out of bed. I have not brushed it or anything. Obviously the curls look pretty nice. So I'll show you guys the back. Side. So. Pretty good, if I must say so myself. Good morning, everyone. I'm just finishing up my makeup. I'm in a little bit of a rush today. I am taking my son to the post office. We have an appointment for him to get a uh, passport. So that's the plan for today. Um, yesterday was technically a holiday. So I did not film my day three hair. So this is day four and I'm gonna take it down. I'm gonna brush it out. And then I'm gonna show you guys how I do a little refresh with the Dyson when your hair is looking crazy. Um, it's really simple and fast. And then I'll show you guys what that looks like afterwards. And th that lasts about two more days. So if I do what I what I call like a little refresh, um, I could get away with not washing it for about two more days, even though for me typically wash day would be tomorrow. I have a pretty sensitive scalp, so I usually only let dry shampoo sit on my head for a day. If not, it starts to get like itchy and dried out. So, but that's just me. All right, so yesterday I was swimming and it got a little wet um, and then I threw it up in a bun for the rest of the night. So it probably looks crazier than it typically would be. And my hair is definitely getting greasy by now, but I'll still show you guys what it looks like, just to be honest. So this is what it looks like brushed out. I mean, honestly, again, if you were in a rush, not horrible. Um, you guys, the back. It's the back. All right, so to do my little refresh, I use two products. The first one is the Nexus Dry Shampoo. 
and I use this first because it does take a couple minutes for it to soak up all the oils on the scalp. This one I just found was like really gentle. Like the Batiste and some of the harsher ones are just too much for my scalp. Um, and like I said, I only leave it on usually for like a day. Um, so I rub it in, but I don't brush it out yet. Kind of let that sit for a minute. They do say dry shampoo works the best at night. So if you do use dry shampoo, put it on right before bed. Okay, then my go-to water spray, the restore and repair as I am from Amazon. And I squirt the ends, get the, end, the ends um, pretty damp because we are gonna go in again with the blow dryer. Okay. Now I'm gonna brush that out. All right, so now that my hair is damp and the dry shampoo is on the scalp, I am going to go in with the Dyson. And again, using my tricks, not shutting it off in between curls and not using the cool setting. I'm gonna hurry up and do the rest of my hair. All right, so I did five sections on the side and four on the side. Um, typically, I always have more sections on this side. I don't know why, I just have more hair on that side. Um, but I'm gonna let the curls set and dry while I finish getting ready. And then I'll brush it out and show you guys how it looks. All right, let's brush these out. I am gonna use the wide tooth comb this time. Brush the curls out. This is what it looks like looks pretty good looking almost brand new I'll show you guys the back and yeah I'm not gonna use any hairspray because hairspray is not really good for your hair it's all alcohol based so unless I need my hair to look perfect I try not to use it but yeah I'll check back in tonight and show you guys how this held up throughout a crazy day chasing after my toddler and yeah all right guys my hair has been through it it's been through another night <laughs> another crazy day definitely needs a good washing but I mean the curls have held up pretty good for being in a ponytail for being in a bun for running around. I'm going to wash it today, head to the gym, and then hop in the shower. So that's the end of this video. If you guys wanna see more Dyson videos, let me know. I hope you enjoyed and found the tips helpful. Leave a comment below if you have any questions. Bye.